you know, we have a new rescue dog. Her name is Bianca, a beautiful Ibizan hound, same breed as Winston, that has been found by the side of the road with a ruptured Achilles tendon. There's no knowing how long, how long ago it happened, but I tell you, the pain is indescribable. She cannot step on that leg. And when she steps, I mean, the images are just heartbreaking. Anybody that understands a little bit about dogs, you know, you know what she's going through. Well, yesterday I uploaded the video in which I showed the rescue when she came to us and we took her to the hospital. The video is very moving, but there is something that you don't know. Many people ask us if we have an animal protection law in this country. And the answer is yes, we do. But this animal protection is incomplete or actually more than incomplete, is wrong. This animal protection was passed under the pressure of the lobby of the hunting groups. And it specifies that dogs that are used for hunting, working dogs like Winston, like Bianca, are not protected by the law because they're tools, because they're tools at the hands of hunters. They have a different legal status. So if something like this happens to, I don't know, another dog, a chihuahua or a, you know, retriever or a golden retriever or a labrador, this dog will be protected by the law. But because this dog is a podenco, an invisible hound or a greyhound, a galgo, it's not protected. This is one of the cruelest ironies of the legal uh, framework in this country. And this is why we're here. And this is why we rescue these kind of dogs. Actually, we rescue any dog that has, a, that has an injury that needs attention. But I tell you, Bianca's case is especially tragic. Please have a look at this again. This is Bianca, and she needs your help. Heat waves pose a serious threat to dogs and cats, especially in places like Spain, where the heat can be extreme during the summer. Dogs in particular are at risk due to their inability to regulate their body temperature as efficiently as we do. They can suffer from heat strokes, which are dangerous and potentially lethal. Under these circumstances, during an intense heat wave hitting Spain, we have rescued Bianca. ¿Qué tal? Pues mira, hoy lo traemos. Tranquila. Hembrita guapa. Pero qué cosa más deliciosa que eres, oye. Tiene muy buen color. Claro. There's muscular atrophy here. It will take a very long time with this injury. Lo típico de ya se soldará solo, ¿no? Sí. Aquí le falta todo el el tendón. Yes, here the entire tendon is missing. There was some accident and it got severed. Se ha cicatrizado todo solo, sí, claro. Sí, ha cicatrizado, sí, sí. Vaya tela. Vaya tela, como tú dices. Y el tiempo que lleva... And goodness knows how long it's been like this. Tremendo. Pero bueno, sin todo, es muy amable con sí, nosotros. Sí, sí. Yeah. Vamos un poco. We're doing the preliminary research before considering surgery. Te hacemos placas también, ¿vale? Sí, vamos a hacer las placas. Unfortunately, hunting dogs in Spain suffer from mistreatment and abuse, a problem that deserves our attention and action. They can be subjected to long days of strenuous work without sufficient rest, proper nutrition, or veterinary care. Some suffer from a lack of adequate shelter, medical attention, and social contact, causing them distress and suffering. We don't know how Bianca's life has been so far, but we do know it hasn't been good. Until now. We are here to transform Bianca's life, and for that, we need you. 
Bianca needs us. With your collaboration, we can perform the surgery that Bianca needs and provide her with the necessary follow-up, including the rehabilitation and physiotherapy sessions she requires. Our ultimate goal is to find a family that will love her forever. Help us achieve this objective. Help us save Bianca. Thank you very much, everyone. We've conducted a radiological study to see everything. The leg remains loose because there was an accident and the Achilles tendon got severed. We're going to transfer the information to the specialist so they can make a plan. I think we might need to do an arthrodesis to make the leg functional. As for the blood test, there's a slight shortage of red blood cells. Everything else is normal. It's minimal anemia. We're awaiting the results for leishmaniasis. It's something we want to rule out before proceeding with surgery. This is Bianca. She's at the hospital, ruptured Achilles tendon that needs fixing as soon as possible. She needs your help. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save her. Thank you.